it has been a struggle. Are y'all ready for the story time? Please don't mind my parents. Two day work trip turned into me being stuck in Chicago in a snowstorm at the airport, a roach motel. Lost my battery pack. Lost half of my AirPods. And still trying to get home and it's not guaranteed. Okay guys, so let me kind of break down the story for y'all. So I came here on a work trip Wednesday. Work trip went great. I'll show you guys some pictures of like the networking dinner. Then we had like interview days the next day. And then I was supposed to fly back home on Friday and get home Friday at around 12 o'clock. It is now Saturday and I'm not supposed to be flying out until 2 p.m. There was a snowstorm that hit. I tried to up my flight, couldn't get on the flight. I actually missed the flight because they changed the gate on me. I was at the gate waiting and I didn't notice they changed the gate until they said I was going to Dallas, going to Dallas, going to Dallas. By the time I noticed my flight was about to literally take off of the landing strip. Oh my God, I freaked out. I've never ever missed a flight, y'all. Y'all know I'm an on-time person. Mind you, I was here like two hours early, like literally ready to go two hours early. So, missed the flight and then i get on standby for the next flight at 11. mind you the snowstorm is supposed to hit at five o'clock now on standby for the 11 44 flight didn't make standby so then i actually have to buy an entire like a whole nother ticket for a flight at 3 45. we get on the flight at 3 45 the snow starts to come down we kind of we have to get de-iced more snow is coming down we go in line to take off. It's a long line. Mind you, now we're on the plane for two hours. I didn't record any of this, guys, because I was freaking out. I was too stressed out. I was too mad. I was too, like, just trying to stay calm that I couldn't record all of this for y'all. And I'm mad. And next time I will, next time I'm in a tragedy or going through something crazy, I'll record everything. But I just, like, I was, like, didn't know what was really going on that i couldn't do it so we um are on the flight waiting for two hours to take off and at that point it's like protocol that they have to let anyone off that wants to get off so people wanted to get off so we had to get out of our spot in line come back to let those people off the plane at this point they're like oh it's not canceled we're just letting people off we'll take back off at this time long story short the flight is canceled we all have to get off so at this point the entire airport is closed like they closed all flights canceled so now i'm like what am i supposed to do like this has never happened to me mind you i'm by myself i don't even have a companion i don't have a colleague i don't have family i don't have anyone here with me to be going through this and this is my first time and i don't know what to do so i'm rebooked for a flight for saturday at 8 17 a.m it's a connecting flight it's supposed to fly me to michigan then from michigan to philadelphia that flight gets delayed but before that, I had to find a hotel. 
when I tell you I called every single hotel that is in the airport for vicinity, everyone's booked. Every time I get to book one, we're like kicked out because someone else has already booked it. Kicked out, someone else already booked. Kicked out. So I even looked at the Super 8, y'all. Motel. Booked. Booked. Booked and busy, honey. Then we end up booking at this other place. And I don't want to name it because I don't want to trash it. But it was my last resort. And I never heard of it before. And I'm like, okay, it has like barely four stars. And I go there trifling. It was hair. Um, the kitchen part, the, the, the refrigerator seemed like it came from a dumpster. It was so, uh, it was like too old toothpaste splatter. Like little spots they didn't get up. I didn't sit on the seat in the toilet. I did take a hot shower. I took all like the comforters off of the bed. I like inspected with my flashlight and looked, there was nothing. So I put a shirt down to lay my head on my shirt and I laid in my pajamas and I couldn't sleep. I tossed and turned all night. I heard everyone in the hallway. I heard everyone in the other rooms. And I just played my Bible app, y'all, and just went to sleep. I kept tossing and turning because my arm and my hands were falling asleep. <sighs> the devil is trying it and was trying it, y'all. Like, this has never happened. And I just really honestly believe that, like, this is all happening because something was going to happen that didn't need to happen. Whether I was going to get in the wrong Uber driver and something bad was going to happen. If I would have made the flight earlier that morning. Or if I was home early, like something was, like God is saving me from something. He's keeping me from something that was supposed to happen. I truly believe that because this is a mess, honey. This is a mess. Like I'm breaking out, like because I'm like a little stressed. But I'm trying to get my life together. I listen to praise and worship music. I've been listening to my Bible app, and it's gonna be all right. And it took some time because last night I was in a mood, yo. I was in a mood that like I was so I felt so hopeless, like. I don't know if that sounds bratty, but, like, I was by myself. I felt, like, stranded. I felt, like, kind of scared. I guess it was just, like, it never happened. I really didn't know all the way what to do. And I didn't have, like, someone to, like, kind of, like, lean on, like, physically. Like, all right, we're going to get through this together. But I had to figure it out. My mom, you know, was there the whole time. On three-way with me making these calls and helping me figure it out. And... I'm glad I had somewhere to sleep last night, though, instead of being in an airport. Just a little tiny comfort, even though I didn't want to be there. <sighs> okay, so woke up at 5 o'clock to me having a delayed flight. I was supposed to take off at 8.17. They pushed it back to 9.34, which meant I would get to Michigan at 11.48. And my connecting flight was at 12.25. So, and I would get off at B4, and then my gate was B6 that I need to get on. So I talked to one of the American Airlines agents, like, honestly, like, be real with me. Like, if you think I'll make that flight? And he's like, honestly, like, no, nah, but I can try to get you on another flight, a straight flight. So now my flight isn't until 2.17, and I'm just praying that it goes through and I can get home. I just want to go home, y'all. I just really want to go home. And I've really been stuck in this Chicago-ness, and I, I don't want to, I just don't want to, I hate it here. I don't ever want to come back to Chicago. I don't ever want to come back here. Like, this is such a traumatic experience for me. I love flying and traveling. But I guess it had to happen one, like, one time and whatever. But I missed my nail reappointment. Look at my nail, y'all. Where? What nail? I missed my nail appointment. This nail is missing polish. Like, I missed my nail appointment. I'm just hoping I can get home to today so I can get into the nail every Sunday. But I need to make sure I get on that flight and the flight takes off before I book another appointment. Um, yeah, I had a date Saturday night tonight and I'm not going to make that. Um, I was supposed to go out to eat Friday night. That didn't happen. Um, yeah, I just want to get home tonight so I can go to church on Sunday because I give him all the glory. Because, ciao. So, oh yeah, I lost my charging pack. My like, I love, I had this one charging pack that ch like charges for eight whole hours, like charges my phone twice, another person's phone, lost, left it at the Roach Motel, hotel, whatever. Um, I lost my AirPod case in one of my AirPods because I had one in my ear. I think I lost it 
left it on the plane but thank god i have another set of airpods so god will restore he knew i had one i just gotta get another case love my case got that for christmas my best friend's gonna be mad but hopefully they'll replace it's like no <laughs> um yeah so like i said excuse my appearance i'm just going through it y'all my lashes is bald and i got my god my lash appointment on sunday so i just need to get home so i could just be myself again after sunday <sighs> but i'm glad i'm alive i'm glad i'm safe and yeah that's what it is y'all But I think I, I don't have no kids. I don't have no pets that I had to tend to or anything like that. Like other people. I know there's other people stuck at the airport in worse predicaments than myself. But I'm going to continue to be the light wherever I go, y'all. Be the light wherever you go. Because wherever you go, the light shall follow. And I'm going to continue to be the light until I get on my flight and we take off.